What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little Valentine's Day haul. So I have been trying to get some more Valentine's Day decorations just because I don't really have anything at all for our house and I'm getting some Valentine's Day stuff together for the girls' baskets. And by the girls, if you're new here, I mean my two dogs. So this is going to be a mixture of decorations for the house, some DIYs, some stuff for the dogs, just like a little bit of everything. Let's get into the haul. So some stuff I got from stores, some things I ordered. This is one thing that I ordered from Amazon and that is these little tiny wicker hearts. They are way smaller than I thought they were going to be. But let me just show you how freaking cute these are. There's four different colors and on top of these wicker hearts, they also have these little balls that were supposed to be used for vase fillers that I got as well. So these two are from Amazon. There are also four different colors for these. And then it also included this clear wire in case you wanted to like put them on a string or hang them, whatever you wanted to do with them. Keeping on with the Amazon track, there was three different Valentine's Day colors that I was between getting for the girls. So we ended up going with this one. And I'm super happy that we did because they're also more versatile. So I can use them for other holidays and not just Valentine's Day. I love collars that have these little bows on them. You just stick it right over top of the collar. This is the actual collar itself with the rose gold medal. My mother-in-law ended up getting me this shirt for Christmas because she said she saw it and immediately thought of me, which obviously this looks like something I would buy. So I thought this was super cute. The pups also went to the groomer yesterday and every time they go to the groomer, they come home with new bandanas. This is the one that Larcy came home in. This is the one that Koba J came home in. I thought they were both adorable. I'm super happy with both of them. I went to Hobby Lobby. Honestly, I was really disappointed because when I went onto Hobby Lobby's website and looked what they had for Valentine's Day, there was a lot of really, really cute things. And then when I went into the store, a lot of that stuff wasn't there. But I did still get a few cute things. This little truck with little hearts on the back. It just says loads of love. There were a couple of different ones in there. I got this little house. It says home is where the heart is. The last thing I got from Hobby Lobby is this little stack of books. If you can't tell, I'm going with a little bit more of a pinkish theme. It says every day I love you more and there's just a little bow on it. Moving on to Petco. So of course in the girls Valentine's Day baskets I have to put some toys in there. I got them this Nerf toy that is bacon and peanut butter scented for them to chew on. Koba loves to chew on things so I'm sure she especially will love this and I'm also sure they will love to each take a side and kind of play tug of war with this. I also got them a bone the same type of idea from Nerf and this one is just bacon scented. The girls just had their annual checkup and I was asking what kind of joint supplements I should be giving them. My vet said that unfortunately with dog supplements they're not FDA regulated so even if it says that they have particular ingredients in the product that doesn't actually mean that there is any of that in there because they don't have to show proof for it but this is one company that they did recommend because they do offer that information on their own. My goldens are only one and two but I still want to try to prevent any joint issues down the road so I'm hoping that if I start young start now maybe I'll be able to succeed in that. On Amazon I decided to get some molds to start making some dog treats. If you didn't see in my last video one of my big goals for 2022 is to start making my own homemade dog treats because we go through so many store-bought ones and it's so easy to just make some at home and that way I know exactly what's actually in their treats. I got two molds of the dog bone shape and then I got a mold of the paw prints and then I also got ones for letters just so that way I could spell out different things. By the way I will leave everything linked down below if there's anything that you want to get that you like but here are the letters and then here are the numbers. I wanted to get something that's a little bit bigger a little bit thicker and I think these ones are Perfect. Moving on with the Dollar Tree, I did get them a pink ball. I only got one because I know this probably isn't gonna last very long before it pops, but it was only a dollar, so I'm not really that worried about it. I got these little hearts. These are actually containers, but I thought that I would use them as just regular decoration. And then I saw these really cute little letter envelopes. Not sure exactly what I want to do with them yet, but I thought that they looked really cute, so I'm probably just gonna use them for decorations on the mantle. And then I also got 
got this big heart from the Dollar Tree because I thought this would be a really cute craft to do with the girls. And I was thinking if I paint the heart, I could do like my handprint, my husband's handprint, and then both of the girls' paw prints over top of it. So it's like a combination of our family of fours and slash paw prints. I got a paintbrush to obviously paint with. And then I found these little stands. I got two pink ones. So here's what those look like. I was looking and looking and looking to find a cute Valentine's Day wreath and Walmart is where I found the one that I like. It is in the shape of a heart. You can't really tell until I flip it around to the back. But obviously I just wanted this for the door. Moving on to PetSmart for some more toys for the girls. The only Valentine's Day like themed present that they're getting so far is this hide and seek dog toy from Top Paw. There's just these little chocolate covered strawberries inside that they have to dig out. Colba especially loves doing this and it's also crinkly and the little chocolate covered strawberries squeak. This also is something that I'm gonna give them for Valentine's Day. This isn't obviously Valentine's Day themed, but when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. A little backstory, my brother, the one that passed away, actually worked in construction. So obviously the shovel made me think of being in construction. The senior motto for his graduating class was life's a garden, dig it. And my brother's favorite color was Kermit the Frog green. It's like a lime green color. So I just thought this was perfect. If you didn't know, Koba J, my youngest golden retriever, is actually named after my brother, so I obviously wanted to make sure that I got this for her. Moving on to Macy's, I ended up coming across these. So these are actually coats for the girls. They're kind of puffy, they're a little bit thicker, and I love the color. Obviously Valentine's Day themed, but this could be worn at obviously any time of the year. So I got one for Larcy, and of course I had to get a matching one for Koba. From Walmart, I saw this little Valentine's Day balloon just says love on it, it's just red. I thought this would be a really cute prop for their photo shoot, and also it's kind of easy to put everywhere, and I'm telling you, these foil balloons last forever. I have some foil balloons that are still blown up from two years ago. I just got myself a little 2022 planner, more Dollar Tree stuff, XOXO sign. My initial thought was to paint it it and put our names on each of the letters. I even thought of maybe putting photos on it. I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do with it. Then I saw these little LED string lights. There's only 10 lights, so they're really small. There's little red hearts on them. I thought that these would be cute little necklaces that they could wear for their photo shoot, but also I could put on the mantle. I got some of this really cute Valentine's Day themed village. This one is a little tiny ice cream stand that I'm going to end up painting. Now, a lot of these are really cute, but I feel like the paint job isn't really that great. But you know, paying a dollar, I'm not really surprised by that. This is the actual little ice cream truck. I thought these are so adorable. This is a really cute little gumball machine, another house. And then there's these two little castle looking things. So these are all definitely going up on the mantle. And then the last bag I have is also all from the Dollar Tree. If you want to get canvases, go to the Dollar Tree. These are literally a dollar a piece so cheap so I got some more because I want to do a couple Valentine's Day crafts with them with their paw prints I saw this really cute sign it just says kissing booth and then this little thing says for free and then on the back if you flip it around it says 25 cents and they had a bunch of these and different colors with different sayings on them I got the magenta paint and pink color paint and I just got the plain black one as well so this is what our mantle looks like completely decorated. Definitely went with more of a pinkish theme and I think it turned out super cute. And I think that's it. I think that's everything that I got for Valentine's Day. And I love watching hauls. Sorry if I said cute 700,000 times because I'm sure I did. But as always, uh, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed this. Please feel free to subscribe if you are not already. I would obviously greatly appreciate that. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.